Most bronze sculptures are tributes to men. Most stone sculptures are also tributes to men. This deal was going to be about women. working with over 400 women and listening to them tell their stories. Every time we get together we have a circle and uh, women go around and say if I could pack my past in a trunk and then tell a story of a memory that they would take with them and the amazing thing to me has been to watch as we go around all the women's guards drop and they open their hearts completely and they show this beautiful, beautiful self that's inside of them. The richness of their stories and the feeling that I get and the realization about the strength and the power and the beauty in each of us has touched me very deeply. about giving women a voice and giving them a place that they can come and tell something that's really important to them and that that will be listened to and acknowledged and valued. And it works like this. I say, if I could pack my past in trunk, I would take with me, if I was to pack my memories in a trunk, if I had to pack my memories into a trunk, if I were to pack my bag and take the memories from my past, if I could pack a memory in my bag, I remember the time I was at the hospital when my youngest granddaughter was born. The third person in this world to hold my grandson in my arms that's good. My son has leukemia. And we had such a fabulous fun time. And it was like his illness faded. And a million photographs of my life. And, um, and the ones that come up is the series of watching my daughter grow. We were together most of the time. My daughter dressing up in the cherry tree. And I, I don't remember how old she was at the time, but she was little and dressed in flowing soft gowns and stuff. So I just, she looked like a fairy. The grass is green. Can, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Grandma, that, that happens. <laughs> My other grandma always had happy hour and cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's always made me think that I don't ever want to lose my childish outlook on life. I am a blessed woman with an absolutely fantastic group of three kids that are all totally and completely different and nothing but trouble and fun every minute of the day. <laughs> it's fun to think of those memories and how no matter what you you get through them with, with your foundation of faith and your family and friends. And there were friends that said, we're family. Mm -hmm. We're all family. And I guess that's what it's all about. After we sit around and do this sharing, they take all that energy and all that care and all that love and all that emotion
and they put it into something permanent by impressing these things into the clay that are their memories. I am about to fly, I sleep so silent, I land on the light so I can see. talking about this point we are in our lives that we're ready to kind of fly and do our thing and be who we're here to be. We've touched so many people and so many people have touched me. As all ends are, it's also a beginning at the same time.